Welcome in CACPHP version 3 tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to install CACPHP version 3. For installation CACPHP version 3, we have to follow three steps. First step should be we have to uh, install Composer. So for install Composer, we have to go the website called getcomposer.org. So after go this website, you will get an option called download. So I am just click on download and I am using here Windows. So for Windows installer, we have to click on this composer setup and for Linux you have to just use this command. So I'm just going to click on composer setup exe and uh, save it. After save it, we have to just click on this uh, exe and going to run. Going to click on after click on yes, we have to go the next step. And this is the important part. We have to assign the PHP EXZ location, and I already assigned it in here. And this my ass my PHP EXZ location is in E drive, and there is a folder called Jam because I'm here using the Jam. And in Jam there is a folder called PHP, and in this PHP folder there is a file called PHP.exe. So after I assigned it, we have to click the next. And uh, I'm just uh, escaping, escape this step because uh, inter proxy URL. I have no any proxy URL, so I'm going to click on next. And after click install, composer is going to install. So it will take a minute. Then I'm going to finish. That means composer has been installed. Succeed. So now the next step, uh, we have to uh, uncomment a option, uh, a uh, extension. So let's see in CACPHP URG. So this is the website called CACPHP URG. I'm here. And in down, there is an option called download CACPHP version 3.4. So there has a requirement in in this requirement section you will sh you will show there has a extension called phpintl.deal that should be uncomment. So I'm just going to copy this uh, extension uh, file name. So this extension name and then go in the jam and going to config uh, option and there is option called phpini. I am in phpini. So I'm going to control F and then paste my extension name and then find it. So here is the ext extension phpintl.deal and you are showing that there has a semicolon before this extension name. So I'm just going to remove this semicolon and save it. So uh, after save, I'm just uh, close this option and just going to restart my Apache. So after restart the Apache, uh, I need to go for last step. The last last step will be I have to just copy the uh, composer. I've copied this command for install you know, PHP. So you can see there is an option. There is a uh, there has they have written that if our composer installed globally, then I have to use this command. So I'm just going to copy this. Uh, command and going my stdocs option that means jamp and stdoc this is my stdoc and in here i'm going to uh, press on shift key and then click on mouse mouse right button so press on shift and click mouse right button you will get an option here the open command window here open command window here after click this i'm just going to paste my uh, this command I'm just copy and paste it in here so after paste I'm just going to remove the first uh, option because uh, I don't need to composer self update because I'm using here composer latest version and the next thing uh, I'm just going to change the my project name so this is the project name so i'm going to project name cac underscore project then hit on enter so we have to wait uh, some minutes for install comp uh, cac php3 so it is just downloading
in same time we can uh, create a database for connect database I'm going to PHP my admin so there is lots of uh, database in here so I'm just uh, going to uh, show the farmer database there is lots of tables okay I will use this database for this project that's called pharma so let's check so it will take a little bit uh, few minutes for you know for downloading and install so you have to just wait while waiting We are just waiting. Okay, download is uh, just started, and uh, all dependency also uh, installing. I think it will take a few minutes more. Okay. So it is downloading all uh, dependencies. So you have to wait uh, maximum one or two minutes. almost uh, in last step okay so install already finished and uh, uh, you need to give a permission for the folder so I'm just uh, uh, give the Y in here and after enter already everything has been finished so they have uh, given instruction as that update the security solve value from config app.php so I'm just going to open my project in sublime so this is my sublime I'm just drag and drop in here and uh, we have to go uh, the config file and this is the app.php and in below there has a security salt I'm just going to little bit change in here I'm just uh, going to randomly some give some character and in top uh, sorry in below we have to go the database section so this is the data source data sources so here I have to change this uh, uh, option so username should be root and my password I have no any password in my local jam and the database name I am going to use pharma and after save if we just run our project in 
local host and our project name was CAC project so CAC underscore project if you hit on enter you will see the CAC PHP project has been installed successfully so database also has been uh, connected so we already uh, established the database connectivity with CAC PHP and also installed everything uh, and our install has been success succeed so thank you for watching CAC